Vertical is the most important form of video content nowadays. The nine by 16 aspect ratio we see on Instagram stories, Instagram reels, TikToks, YouTube shorts, Snapchats, and many, many more. It just doesn't stop vertical video. And my problem is, is I have a lot of videos that are actually filmed with the landscape 16 by nine aspect ratio. So if you're like me and you have the same problem, I'm gonna show you how you convert your landscape videos to vertical videos. That way you can repurpose all of your content and you don't have to reshoot everything. So I'm gonna be turning this to this. And the tool I'm going to be using to do it, Veed.io, an online video editor, link in the description. So once I'm on Veed, the first step is to click create video and then click create project. So here now, as you can see, we're taken into the video editor where I can upload my file and I can actually drag and drop. So I'm just going to open up my folders template here. I've got an old YouTube video, which I want to repurpose into new content. So I'm just going to drag, drop, and now it's uploaded into Veed. And if I click play, what's up guys, Alec here. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you as you can see, this has the 16 by nine aspect ratio and I want to turn it into a nine by 16 aspect ratio. So it fits on TikTok, Instagram stories, Instagram reels, shorts, you name it. And the best thing is this is actually really easy to do. All we have to do is actually go into the top left under project settings. And here we have the size drop down menu. Now here we currently have original size selected, but if we click on it, we can actually scroll down and see a bunch of different aspect ratios. And if I scroll down, we can actually see the aspect ratio that we're looking for, Instagram story or TikTok, the nine by 16 aspect ratio. It's the same one, just gonna click select it. And there you go, as you can see now, my video is vertical. I have the nine by 16 aspect ratio with my clip in the middle. And now you might be saying, yes, okay, Alec, that is a video with a nine by 16 aspect ratio format, but I could have just zoomed out on my phone. Well, as you can see here, if I click on it, I can actually resize it and make it fill the exact place I want to and sit in the exact space I want to on my nine by 16 aspect ratio canvas. So now if I press play, why you need to be posting Instagram and now the magic behind it is that I'm gonna trim this because I'm repurposing this YouTube video into multiple different pieces of content. I'm gonna trim off the end, find a part that I like. So now, as you can see, I've just taken a minute to quickly find the area that I want to turn it into a small clip for my Instagram reels. And I'm just gonna move this about and I'm gonna drag it to the beginning of the timeline. So now if I play it, you should start posting Instagram reels on your account if you want to grow. You should stop. As you can see, that's perfect. Now I'm just gonna quickly click on fit. So it takes the entirety of the timeline and it's a little bit zoomed in so I can edit it with more precision. Now I can actually add some titles, text, subtitles, images as I want to make it a little bit more dynamic. But the first thing I'm gonna start with is in elements, I'm actually gonna choose a progress bar and I'm just gonna select this one right here. And I'm just gonna drag it and place it at the bottom of my video. Actually, what I might do is just hit delete on my keyboard and choose a square one so I can keep it flush with the edge, just like so, drag it out. And the magic of this is that it will automatically animate through the video. You should start posting Instagram reels on your account. Okay, I'm gonna move it down a bit so it's flush with the bottom of the clip as well, and if you want to grow. Amazing, and then what I'm gonna do is add some subtitles, click subtitles, auto subtitle, select the language that I'm talking in within the video, hit start, and then Veed is gonna take anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, depending on the length of your clip and the speed of your internet, to automatically generate subtitles from the audio of your video. And now in the few seconds that it took me to say that, as you can see, the subtitles have now appeared, and if I click play, you should start posting Instagram reels on your account if you want to grow. Okay, now these are perfect, but as you can see, the placement of them isn't amazing. So I'm just gonna click and drag them down a bit. I might make them just a little bit bigger and squeeze them together a little bit more so they're easier to read. Now, the reason I'm putting subtitles on my content is because a lot of people swipe through Instagram stories, through reels with the sound off. This way, they're still gonna be able to consume my content with the sound off. This is gonna drive my engagement up. And now the last thing, I wanna make sure that people stop when they come across my reels. How do I do that? A hook. And a hook for this one is do this to grow on Instagram. So I'm just gonna head over to the text tab, click headline, title, and I'm gonna write, do this to grow on Instagram. Perfect, just like this. First of all, I'm gonna make it white so it stands out on the black backdrop, just like so. Drag it out a little bit, and there we go. I might add a return so it fits a little better. There we go, and I've realized I've got a mistake, just gonna fix that. And now, as you'll notice, I've added my text, but it's not showing up through the entirety of the video. This is because it added where my playhead was. If I placed it at the beginning, it would've added at the start. But again, to change this, I can just click and drag it out. I can click to move it around on my timeline. I want the title to be there for the entire thing. So I'm just gonna drag it around to each end of the clip. So now if I press play, you should start posting Instagram reels on your account if you want to grow. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is actually change the color of my background. So to do this, I'm just gonna to go to settings and change the color and we might make it something a little bit more flashy, maybe this little pink here. And then I'm gonna change the color of my progress bar. Again, maybe something a little bit more flashy like a, like I think this color theme is looking pretty good. Subtitles, I'm gonna change the style. 
and we're going to change the style let's say find some ones that i like i like these ones with the drop shadow then i might actually add a little bit of drop shadow just by clicking on more options on my text and then let's just see click on drop shadow right here and then change the color of my drop shadow to black so now as you can see you should start posting instagram and then the last thing I might do to make this even more relevant is just add the little Instagram logo. And now there's a couple of ways I can do this. So I can just click on media and then upload the file if I have a picture of the Instagram logo, but I've already added it to my brand kit. So as you can see, I've added a few icons here that I use frequently, and then I can just click Instagram logo, it appears, and then I'm just gonna hold down shift to keep the aspect ratio the one by one as I change it. Otherwise you'll see if I don't hold down shift, it goes funny. If I hold down shift, I can't adjust it. And then just place it somewhere like this, just like that make it a little bit more aesthetic, just like so. And again, the Instagram logo disappears at the beginning of the video because my playhead was placed in the wrong place. So I'm just gonna click and drag this to the beginning and then drag it out all the way just like that. And there we go. Here's my landscape video that I've converted into a vertical video. Posting Instagram Reels. So once I'm happy with it, all I have to do is click on export in the top right. And then I want to make sure I burn the subtitles into the video. This means that they'll be baked into the actual MP4 file so they won't disappear on render. And then I can choose Let's see, I wanna choose the Instagram recommended export settings. So it uploads with the best quality possible to Instagram and then click export just like so. Feed then takes anywhere between a few seconds to a few minutes, again, depending on the size and the speed of my internet. And then once it's finished rendering, as we can see, I can preview it. You should start posting. If I'm not happy, I can click on edit. I can share it directly through a link, but I wanna download it as an MP4 so I can then upload it to Instagram. And I can also open my Vida account up on my phone and then download the project straight to my phone. And that is how to convert landscape videos to vertical. Thanks for watching.